Hello and welcome to this instructional Anaplan video brought to you by BI. Today we're going to talk about three very useful functions in Anaplan, namely the lookup, sum and select functions. In order to motivate our decision to use these, let's first have a look at a general example and some of the constraints that it imposes. For the purpose of our example, we're going to be using this module from which we're going to pull data. Let's say that our company has units in three different countries. All of them need to be supplied with several products. These are the two dimensions of our module. We also have four line items. We have a list formatted line item, which denotes the supply of the specific product for the specific country, the units of each product, their price and the total cost. Let's say that we need the total cost in a different module. In this case, I've created this module, our target module. It has the same dimensions as the reference module. If we'd like to have the total cost from the reference module, we simply need to reference it. And all the data is going to be mapped correctly by country and by product. This works because the two modules have exactly the same dimensions. However, imagine a situation where you would like to refer to the same data without having those same dimensions in the target module. Perhaps you cannot afford to add another dimension, or you need only specific data for specific country product, or you might need a fixed value. For operations such as these, the lookup, sum and select functions offer great flexibility. Now let's have an overview of each of these functions. The lookup function is used when the reference module has a dimension which is not in the target module. It requires a mapping line item or line items formatted as the specific dimension we would like to refer to. The syntax of all of the three functions we're going to look at today is quite similar. We have x as the source, we have square brackets, then the function and in this case y is our mapping line item. The function works by using the common dimensions between the reference and target module in order to link the data between them. Let's switch to Anaplan and see how lookup works. For this example, I've created a module without dimensions. It has only three line items, country and product, which are list formatted line items, and total cost. Country and product have the same list dimensions as our reference module, and we're going to use them for our mappings. Now let's write the formula using the lookup function, here in the total cost line item. First, we need to refer to the source line item, which is total cost. Then, square brackets, we're going to write our lookup function. And then, we're going to refer to our mapping line item, country. When we press enter, the data here is the total cost for all the three products for Germany. If we change the country, for example to France, we're going to get the total cost for France. Let's say that we would like to have the data for a specific product. We can use another lookup. We're going to add a product, and now we're going to get the data for the specific country and the specific product. You can add many lookups to your formula in order to create complex references. Moreover, you can combine it with the other functions for even more fine-grained control. Let's now have an overview of the sum function. As we saw with the lookup function, we use mapping line item in the target module, which is formatted as a dimension in the source module. The sum function works the other way around. It sums values based on a list formatted or time period formatted line item in the source module that matches a dimension of the target. The syntax is quite similar to the lookup function. It has x which holds the values to be summed, it has 
the sum in square brackets and y is the mapping. The dimensions of the mapping must be dimensions of the source line item. A constraint of the sum function is that the resulting line item must be number formatted. Now let's switch to Anaplan and see how the sum function works. In our reference module, we can see that the same suppliers could provide different products to our units in different countries. Take supplier number 5 for example. Let's say that we would like to have the sum of all units sold by a supplier regardless of a product or country. We can use the sum function for that. In our target module, we have added the list of suppliers as a dimension. In order to get the data for the units, we need to refer to the specific line item, then add square brackets, the sum function, and then we need this line item in here, supplier, which is formatted as the dimension of our target module. When we press enter, we get the data for each supplier and the units that they have sold. You can combine many sums in your formulas. Now let's see an overview of the SELECT function. If you need to use a fixed value, you can use the SELECT function. It identifies a list item to use from one or more hierarchy list to filter the source module data. The syntax is similar to the functions we have seen so far. X is the value or values to use as reference. Then we have square brackets, the select function, and Y showing the location of the source data. The function has no specific constraints. Now let's switch to plan and see how select works. For this example, we're going to use this module which has no dimensions, and only line items. We've managed to look up the total costs the specific country and the specific product. Let's say that now we would like to know the percentage these are from the total costs of the company. Since we would like to use the grand total as a reference value, it needs to be fixed. We can pull a specific value from the source module using the select function. Let's do that in this line item here. First, we're going to refer to our line item in the source module. In this case, total cost. Then we're going to write the square brackets, then the select function, and then the total. In this case, we're going to use country total company. This is going to return this value here. Let's press enter. And we can see that we now have the total value for all countries and all products. We can see that the percentage this value here is from the total is. 12%. If we change the country, for example France, we can see that product 1 for France is 10% of the total cost. In conclusion, the lookup, sum and select functions are widely used and allow for great flexibility when you're building your data flow. If you'd like to learn more about these functions, you can visit Anaplan's Anapedia. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great day! If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.